Hi guys, Welsh Wynn here. Um, having my free breakfast. Oh, well, it's not free, but um, um, it's a uh, double egg and toast with some orange juice, which should fill me up for a couple of hours. Um, I wasn't going to make a video today, but uh, I'm going to head down to uh, my favorite beach on Kolan, uh, Samai Beach, and uh, we'll see what's going on down there. Look at that for a view of Patea guys. So I've made it to uh, Samai Beach. Um, I walked here from the uh, harbour. Uh, it took me about one hour to walk. Um, I started off early just b before it gets hot. And uh, the reason I'm walking, uh, I got a bit of a belly on me at the moment. Uh, last six months put on a bit of weight. So I'm trying to avoid uh, motorbike taxis and uh, bat buses as much as I can. But uh, yeah, Samai Beach guys looks stunning, uh, quiet at the moment, probably get busier later on, but look at that water. So sunbed here is uh, 100 baht all day, uh, that's about average. Um, there's plenty of choice here, plenty of restaurants. Uh, Nice cold beers, we'll have one later with something to eat. So a small beer uh, on Samai Beach is uh, 60 baht, 120 for a big one. Cheers. So my question today, guys, for you is: uh, 
is West best? Um, for me, it used to be, but not anymore. Uh, east is best now, and I mean e Southeast Asia, which is where I am now, have been for three years. And do you know, I get up every morning and I'm so grateful and so thankful that I can come to places like this every day and enjoy life. Um, why is East better than West? Maybe you can tell me in the comments. Uh, for me, um, West, there's just too much uh, conflict over there. Uh, everything is so expensive. Um, like I said to you before, I live out here on 800 pounds a month. Sorry, last month it went up uh, 832 pounds a month now. Now you might be saying, oh, he's got loads of savings. He sold his house and car and everything and came over with 100, 200,000. No, again, like I've told you uh, in a previous video, I have to break into savings sometimes. Um, but if I crossed what I call the destruction line, and you know what I mean, then I would probably be skint uh, in less than a year. And uh, then I'd probably have to go home go on benefits or find a full-time job so uh, it's so doable over here you know you just got to be careful um, the best advice I can give you is come out for three months um, stay one month in different parts of Thailand and then you can decide uh, where you like and whether you can make it uh, work for you out here. Um, I was fed up in the UK, you're working hard, giving all my money to the rich uh, politicians and the rich businessmen. And you know, um, to get my full state pension in four and a half years, they still want £850 off me for national insurance. And I'm just not going to pay it. For the sake of two or three pounds a week, uh, in the state pension I'm just not going to give them any more of my money I'd rather give it to Thai people out here do I have boring days here yes I do some days I'm sitting in the condo thinking uh, what can I do today but you know within 10-15 minutes I've thought of something that I can do or somewhere I can go um, especially in Patea uh, has everything on your doorstep and look at today Samai Beach I'm 24 kilometers from Patea uh, yesterday when I came it cost me what 75 pence on the ferry and yesterday I spent less than 500 baht uh, had two meals two Thai meals uh, a soda and I think I had one cappuccino and two colas now, just imagine if I was on Barry Island Beach on a Tuesday afternoon. I probably would just get an ice cream for all that money. So that's the difference, guys, out here. Uh, don't think about it, whether you can do it out here. Just uh, make the move. That's all I can tell you. I mean, I like going back to the UK maybe two or three weeks every year just to see family. Um, I think that's got to be done, but I can't wait to get back here, and um, like I said, um, when I came here three years ago, I just said to myself, please just give me 10 years of this lifestyle, and I'll be quite happy to fade away. Three years has gone now, it's gone quick, uh, there's only seven left maybe, but who knows, what could happen tomorrow? Whatever happens, I'll have a smile on my face. Okay guys, uh, just a short chat there on Samai Beach, Kolan. Um, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Keep subscribing, it's going up slowly. And I'll see you all very soon. Cheers.